I'm back at my open top and I looked in here quick and I see this thing. I definitely want that out. out of here. I know I can get it on the truck. That's not a problem. It's just getting it out of here. Alright. These things definitely taking. Well, that's not that's definitely steel. Good heavy stuff, so that's plastic. Worry about the little stuff right now. There's too much other goodies in here to grab. Um I mean alright, it's right there. Alright, there's another one of those. There's the handle for this. If it works, I might do something with it, but um I'm gonna have to drop it over the top, so I'm definitely gonna damage it. as well get That heavy end was at the top. Yikes, that did not work as planned. Oh man. I'm gonna have to get down there. I used to use these things all the time. Man, that is heavy. actually went around front to see if anybody was home. I didn't really see any evidence that anybody was in the office, so hopefully they won't hear anything. to go this way. It's just how it went. I don't want to drop it back down. I want this to go over the edge. Oh man. I've got this the whole thing has to flip up this way. It's not a very good plan. And everything is wet and slick. I can't really walk it. Oh man. It just keeps going further down. I guess I could just flip it maybe up here and then move my truck out of the way.
necessarily want to flip it in the truck. That's going to do some serious damage. My gloves are super slick right now. Really coming down, but I'm here and I need to get out of here. So, all right. Hope this doesn't come up and smack me in the face. All right. Hopefully I can let it down easy. Not too bad. That didn't work out as bad as I thought it would. And it'll take that. That got all that stuff. This is just plastic. Um, a lot of this is the same stuff as yesterday. What are these things? I don't know. But we're gonna take them. It's empty. All right, so back to the camera. Sorry, I couldn't film uh, hitting the HVAC dumpsters. It was just a bunch of copper and wire and metal and other things. And I keep kept hitting that open top, found some more metal in there and pulled out just about everything that I could. Oh. Now I'm at the last open top, um, already poked in here. I was just gonna swing by, but I figured I'd film this since I've got all this aluminum, aluminum housings. I'll break out the lights. Um, there's definitely going to be, there's a big transformer there, another transformer. So three big transformers. Those are awesome when it comes to copper. Actually, there's a fourth one right there. Um, so there's a lot to get out of here. I'm not going to do this one-handed, the old school method. Um, sorry, my uh, GoPro is full. Just wanted to show you what I'm getting, but I'm going to be able to pull out of this. So uh, pretty nice score on this. After this, I'm just heading home. So I'll show you everything wrapped up tomorrow morning. So the next morning and it poured like a tropical rainstorm on my way home and then we got hammered again last night so everything that was in the back is completely soaked nothing i could really do about that it was too late by the time i got home the only thing i kept inside the cab was this box so this has these volt server rx 550 panels i'm not sure exactly if these are sellable or what i can do with these but anyway they are aluminum cast housing so at the very least i can take them apart and get the aluminum out of them and then a little bit of cord there found a bunch of these the other day as well and these got soaked so i'm just going to strip these down these are stainless steel and then under here is either copper or stainless steel as well and i can turn that in um, and then these boxes are also aluminum cast so i can take those apart i did find another starting to sprinkle so i got to get out of here quick um, and at least put this stuff away but another board that's brand new and then this kind of wireless thing it is so humid here right now you can see that the humidity is already starting to set in on the plastic so i need to take this into my shop where i have a fan going i uh, found a bunch of these which are stainless i believe so i can do the stainless breakage probably on this if i can't get clean more than likely i can't found some wire obviously the big thing was this pallet jack I don't know if it works because the bolts are missing and the internal, this section here was taken out. I don't know what it'll take to put it back together. I don't know if it's worth putting on Facebook for $25, $50 and getting it out of my truck. I'm gonna have to decide real quick. So I'm doing a shred run. Then I also came across all of this. So that is just a big uh, wireless unit, like the smaller ones that I found, both used and new that I need to resell uh, the new ones. And it's got the stainless steel bracket on it. So I'll take the bracket off. That's got stainless steel on the back. All of this is cast aluminum that came out of the one dumpster. They always find those in. And then these shelved units came out of the dumpster with the pallet jack. Uh, these all came out of there too. Uh, I got five very large transformers. Those suckers are heavy along with aluminum plate as well. And then all of that is just shred material that I need to throw into crevices when I'm done loading up the truck. I've got to deal with the ac unit today and get that out of here i don't think i'm going to take that apart before i go to the shred pile because i think these long lights here i need to get them out of my girlfriend's front yard i cover it up so it's not so much of an eyesore but i really don't want it to be here all weekend it's friday um, so that's got to go whatever i can fit out of that and then this pile is going to go on the truck and then the rest i'll deal with the next time around so uh, also i got this uh, copper piping some of it's really nice others number two uh, so I found that as well. So 
pretty good night. Um, I mean, just that alone, that is super heavy. And even if I throw that into the shred pile, I'll get, you know, if that's just say a hundred pounds, I mean, it's $8 right there, $7 now, uh, but I'll take it. And then I got all this other uh, non-ferrous stuff. So good night last night. And I'll hit that dumpster again tonight just to see what they continue to throw away and see if I can't find anything else. So I finally broke the $100 mark on shred, 1,500 pounds at 6.75 cents a pound, $101, so not too bad. There was a lot of empty volume in some of those lights. I did fill them with a lot of other stuff just to save space, but still came out to 1,500 pounds. That pallet jack also helped. So good day at the shred pile.